Now I gotta ride or die What's going on YouTube, just Jake and welcome back to my channel for another GTA 5 video and in today's video we're going to be building Samsung's Dodge Charger RT from Need for Speed Carbon. So something a little bit different, something that we don't usually do on this channel, usually I'm building stuff from TV shows or most famously movies like the Fast and the Furious franchise. But no, today we are going to be recreating a video game car in a video game crazy, I know. Now there was a viewer on one of my previous builds, I believe it was the Dom Toretto Dodge Charger build. I think that I had a comment saying that I should try and recreate Samson's Dodge Charger from Neve Speed Carbon. So I'm here because I've been requested to build this car. So hopefully it turns out okay. Uh, I'm pretty confident because I'm pretty sure that we get um, a very close livery that we need. And usually as long as you get the livery right, the wheels right and the colour right, it kind of works. So without any further ado guys, let's get on with it. Let's get into the armour and purchase 100% body armour, obviously. Then the brakes, we're going to get the race brakes. Then for the front bumper. We're going to go with this custom splitter. I know uh, in Carbon they don't have the red toe hook, but they do have a low level splitter um, like this, very similar to this. Uh, but we can't unfortunately get the splitter without the toe hook. So I'd rather have the splitter with a toe hook than not have a splitter at all. So yeah, custom splitter is the one we're going to need. Then we're going to go to the engine and get the level four engine upgrade for the exhausts. We're going to go for these anodized exhausts. For the fenders, we are going to go and repair those fenders. Then we're going to move on to the grill. And we're going to grab the billet grill. Then we're going to move on to the hood. We want to go and grab this single intake bug catcher. So next we come to the lights. And a few of my videos on these classic muscle cars, I've been getting a little bit of stick <laughs> about purchasing Xeon headlights on all my muscle cars. Uh, yeah, I know it's not always great to put it on a classic you know such as a Dodge Charger but I think they look a lot nicer I mean they're very yellow and they look awesome but that's just my personal opinion and because I've been getting a little bit of stick I'm gonna do this one with stock headlights just to keep everybody happy so if you guys want to purchase it on headlights go ahead but I'm gonna be leaving mine stock for this build um, just to try and keep certain people happy so next we're going to go to the livery we're going to go down and grab this stripes with flames livery that is very very close to what we need we are going to skip the louvers for this build and also the mirrors because samson's because samson's charger from carbon only has the one wing mirror so next we're going to go to the respray you are going to primary color and then we're going to go to metals and we're going to go and purchase this brushed steel and for the secondary we are going to go into chrome and obviously purchase chrome then the next option is a roll cage. We are obviously going to be purchasing a roll cage. And we're going to go with this street cage. Then for the roof, you do want to go and grab the painted roof. For the spoiler, we're going to go and grab this ducktail spoiler. For the suspension, we are going to go and get the competition suspension and the transmission. We're going to get race transmission and obviously turbo tuner. Now for the wheels, guys, we're going to wheel type and into muscle. And we're going to go and grab these cracker rims. And for the color for these, guys, you will want to get them in chrome if you can i am in story mode at the moment uh, and chrome is not an option for me until i go into a mod menu and change it but for the time being i do have them in alloy alternatively if you can't afford chrome because chrome is quite expensive you can keep them in alloy they will work but they are going to look 10 times better in uh, chrome watch here guys you do want to go and grab the bulletproof tires just because you are in ls and it's not a safe place to be then we're going to go to the wheelie bar category and funnily enough this is where you prepare your rear bumper so you will go and grab that and to finish off the build as always we're going to go into the windows and purchase the light smoke window tint so you go my bros there is my build on samson's dodge charger rt from need for speed carbon now this looks effing awesome so like i said guys i am in story mode at the moment and i couldn't get chrome rims in ls customs but now i'm out on the open i can open up my mod menu and go into the wheels uh, this way by going into the menus customs into the wheels into the muscle once again but this time i can choose chrome as you can see then i can go and grab cracker right there so it doesn't make too much of a difference but it does lighten them up and it does look a lot nicer to me um, just because we've got the brush steel for the paintwork and the chrome trim for the secondary color it just looks awesome 
Now I know, know that I've done a few builds with this um, Imponte Dukes, the beta version. Um, but it's, it just looks awesome. It's so much better than the original one. This has done an amazing job um, as replicating Samson's charger from Need for Speed Carbon. Obviously it's not perfect, but we can get everything that we need. We can get the livery, we can get the wheels, we can get the intake on the hood. We can get the right paint job, man. It just looks awesome. Obviously not a spin image, but nothing is. It's just a replica. It's just my variation of it, I suppose. And I think it looks fucking awesome. <laughs> really, really cool. Um, I wasn't sure about this livery when I first saw it, but now uh, I've got it on this build with this brush steel paint. I think it looks really, really good. So I'd just like to take this opportunity to thank all my viewers on watching my videos, commenting, liking. It is awesome. And also the, the ones that comment with ideas for videos. You know, I'd like to recreate videos that you want to see um, or recreate builds sorry that you'd want to see and this is one of them um, so keep them coming in keep the comments coming in i will get around to doing as many as i can if i think it's viable to do it in gta 5 and i think the build would actually work then i will end up doing it at some point and when i got the comment for this build i was quite excited and quite intrigued because i couldn't really remember samson's charger from the from the game because i haven't played it in years so then i went back and had a look and I was like, damn, yeah, man, we can make this. So I uh, come come on, made it, and this is what we've got, baby. And I think it looks awesome. So keep them comments coming in. Also keep liking the videos, man, if you're enjoying it. And I'll keep pumping out as many of these builds as I can. So with that being said, guys, I hope you guys did enjoy this one. If you did, please smash that like button. If you haven't already, why not subscribe to the YouTube channel for more videos like this. And until next time, guys, I'm out. Adios.